You've spent hundreds or even thousands on a CNC, but now you're probably asking yourself, okay, what do I actually need next? Most beginners waste hundreds of dollars and experience months of frustration because they buy the wrong stuff in the wrong order. I'm gonna show you exactly how to avoid all of that. And if you want the full breakdown with everything I recommend, I'll tell you where to get that a little later in the video. We're starting with number eight and going to number one, which is the biggest trap I see new CNCers fall into. Let's get started. Number eight, don't just buy a tape measure to measure material thickness. This feels like a tiny mistake, but it ruins more beginner projects than almost anything else. Measuring your exact material thickness is vital for successful carves. Especially with V-carving, if you're too shallow, your design loses details and looks washed out. If you're too deep, it looks like a three-year-old took a marker and couldn't stay inside the lines. And it's just not V-carving. Your profile cuts rely on accuracy as well. Too shallow and your project won't cut out. Too deep and you're carving a beautiful outline straight into your wasteboard. This isn't DIY woodworking where you can give or take a quarter of an inch. With CNC, even being off by a 16th can ruin your project, your bit, and your day. A $20 set of calipers fixes this instantly, so don't skip this step. Number seven, don't buy every clamp and hold down system first. This one is definitely controversial because everyone has their own preferences. But let me tell you, I wasted a ton of money on clamps I never used. I bought T-Track and ended up hating it because your clamping system changes every time your material size does. One time your clamps reach and another time they don't. And worst of all, I broke bits on clamps that stuck up higher than my workpiece. That one hurts 3x, the damage to the bit, the damage to the clamp, and the damage to your pride. The truth is the simplest and safest solution is the best one, which is wood screws. They're cheap, they're easy to get anywhere, and they hold your material better than almost anything else when you're first getting started. Number six, don't skip basic safety gear. Before we even talk CNC safety, remember this. If you own a CNC, you probably also need other woodworking tools, table saws, band saws, circular saws, and these things can hurt you fast. I was reminded of that about four years ago when I stuck my hand into a table saw blade. Yes, that really happened. You can go back and watch the video. I almost lost two fingers. 14 stitches and a lot of physical therapy later, I walked away with a whole new respect for shop safety. So now here's the good news. You don't need to waste a bunch of money on safety gear. You just need the basics and basics are cheap. And here's what I recommend. Get yourself some basic safety glasses and then get yourself some hearing protection. Foam earplugs work fine, but I prefer earmuffs. And next, pick up a first aid kit. Keep it close, not in a drawer in the house, right in the shop. Make sure it includes a quick clot or a trauma pack. Safety gear is the cheapest part of CNC, but it protects you from some of the most expensive mistakes. All right, number five, don't buy huge Amazon bit sets. Those massive 20 to 40 piece bit kits feel like an amazing deal when you're new. You think, sweet, this has everything I'll need. I'll never need another thing. But here's the reality. You're only going to use about four of them. A surfacing bit, a quarter inch down cut bit, a bowl and tray bit, and a 60 degree V bit. The rest will sit in a drawer, untouched, silently judging you every time you open it. These four bits will let you surface your wasteboard, carve signs, make trays, create pockets, cut out profiles, do V carving, pretty much everything a beginner wants to make. So instead of blowing money on a 30 piece kit you'll never touch, start with the essentials. So the money saved here can be put towards things that you actually are gonna use and benefit from in your shop. Quick pause. If you're watching this because you wanna avoid wasting money, time and frustration on your CNC, there's something that you need to grab. It's called the CNC Supply Guide and it's not a bonus. It is the complete blueprint for everything I recommend. This video gives you the big pieces. The guide goes way further. Every tool, every supply, exactly what to buy, exactly what to skip, and the order you actually need it in. You can guess your way forward and hope you don't buy the wrong thing, or you can follow the plan that already solves all the beginner mistakes. It's totally free, link below. 
grab it right now before you forget. And here's number four, don't buy expensive premium bits to get started. This one is honestly one of my biggest pet peeves. And I say that because I made the same mistake. I cringe every time I see beginners spending 40, 50, $60 on a single quarter inch bit. It hurts, it hurts my soul a little. Do not fall for the bright shiny coatings. Do not fall for the fancy labeling. Do not fall for the idea that a premium bit will magically fix beginner mistakes, because it won't. And here's the truth. Breaking a $15 speed tool bit hurts a lot less than breaking a $60 bit. And you will break bits. It's part of the process. So don't start with premium bits. Start with affordable ones that cut well and won't destroy your budget when you eventually make a mistake. Number three, don't skip dust collection. This is honestly the most common things beginners skip. I asked my CNC community, what was one thing you wish you did sooner? And the overwhelming answer was dust collection. Almost everyone puts this off and almost everyone regrets it. If that's you, let me know down in the comments. When I first started, I thought I could get away without it too. Big mistake, my workshop looked like a snowstorm hit. MDF dust on the floor, on my tools, on my clothes, and yes, I was literally blowing dust out of my nose. You do that once and you immediately understand why dust collection isn't optional. My wife still lets me know about all the dust that's in the basement. Seven years later, no matter how much I clean down there, it seems to never go away. A good dust collector keeps your workspace clean and your lungs safe. At the very minimum, get yourself a shop vac. If you want something a little better, the Harbor Freight unit does a solid job without breaking the bank as well. These last two are the two biggest traps I see beginners fall into. Number two, don't try to learn CNC from random YouTube videos. This mistake costs beginners more time than almost anything else. There are a lot of different ways to skin a cat in CNC. Different workflows, different toolpath strategies, different opinions on bits, feeds and speeds. But when you're a beginner, that variety doesn't help. It overwhelms you, it paralyzes you. Bouncing around YouTube, watching different creators teach completely different methods, doesn't create clarity. It creates confusion, and confusion leads to apprehension to start. And here's the thing, when I got started, these structured learning resources did not exist. I didn't bounce around YouTube because I wanted to, I bounced around because I had no other choice. There was no roadmap no beginner-friendly workflow, no step-by-step -step path. So I had to learn CNC the slow, hard way. But you don't have to do that. Today, there is incredible CNC training available, and some of my favorites are Kyle at Learn Your CNC, does a fantastic job with Vectric training courses. The CNC Kickstart for beginners and the CNC Side Hustle, once you're ready to start selling. Those are both courses that I offer and then Carbide 3D's full training course for Shapeoka owners. If you follow one of these curated learning paths, you will be months ahead compared to trying to piece it together like I had to. And just so you know how real this is, I almost quit CNC after six months. Not because I didn't love it, but because I was overwhelmed. My projects weren't turning out. My machine wasn't doing what I expected it to. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. It was incredibly frustrating. Thankfully, I didn't give up but you don't have to go through the same confusion and frustration I did. You can skip straight to a clear workflow, starting cutting sooner, and enjoy the process way more. So take advantage of those resources. Don't try to learn CNC one random YouTube video at a time. Trust me, I've already proved how painful that path is. And number one, don't start with cheap CAD CAM software. This is hands down the biggest mistake I see new CNC owners make. And it's one that creates the most frustration, the most wasted time, and honestly, the most people giving up before they ever get started. A lot of beginners think starting with free software like Fusion 360 or FreeCAD is the smart move. But here's the truth nobody tells you. These programs are brutal for beginners. On a difficulty scale of one to 10, they aren't a 10, they're an 11. You didn't spend thousands of dollars on a machine just to sit at a computer for hours trying to figure out why your pocket toolpath refuses to work. And worst of all, you might start convincing yourself that CNC isn't for you. 
If you want the fastest path to making real projects, I recommend starting with Vectric. Not because I'm trying to sell you anything, but because it actually works for beginners. It's intuitive, it's predictable, it doesn't fight you, it lets you focus on creating, not troubleshooting. And if you're using a Shape Oco, Carbide Create is also a solid starting point as well. I used it for my first two years, and it absolutely gets the job done until you get your feet under you. Don't start your CNC journey with software that makes everything harder. Start with software that helps you succeed so you can actually enjoy the machine you invested in. All right, those are the biggest mistakes I see beginners make and the same exact ones I made when I was getting started. Avoid them and you're gonna save yourself a ton of time, money, and frustration. If you want the full list of everything I recommend for CNC beginners, the CNC supply guide is linked below. It's free and it will save you a ton of money and frustration.